I have a personal request. Sure. Tomatoes in the winter are terrible. Could you? <laughs> in Is terms of their their yield or in terms of their taste? Taste. Yes. And why are they orange and not red? They're sort of pink. Well, that's a... There are people that work on post-harvest research, which oh, is like oh, where you where, pick things. That would, oh, okay. so, um, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to get too I don't, up, but to I don't me, wanna I was be, like, I don't want to. I don't want to be like <laughs> incorrect on this because you put this out into the world. But like, there are people that work on those things. But um, I think my generalized understanding is that sometimes because you have to transport at large distances, they'll pick them unripe and they will try to have some artificial ripening system as they go. The uh, first malaria in the truck. Making the yeah <laughs> that could that could be a real possibility because you can expose them to certain compounds and that will help them uh, induce ripening but it won't be the same as if they're on the plant because you're talking about taste things like sugar content and those things really uh, come at certain stages of the fruit development um, from I, you know, I don't work on fruits so I would say like that's my understanding of those things so if you pick it too early because it's just an economic question then yeah they might not taste as great as you're getting them but we could conceivably grow those things locally right. in some sort of horticultural system. And there is opportunities there, I think, mm -hmm. to to drive those things to make those tomatoes mm -hmm. the same as you get in the summer. Yeah. So that is a reinforcement learning question that could, could perceivably answer that. Right. And how expensive would it be? And yeah. So yeah. there's lots of questions there. 